Meanwhile, on the other side of politics, poor old Labor leader Anthony Albanese got left at the altar at the end of his trip to WA. His so-called mate of 15 years, the man Albo said he was looking forward to catching up with, border bully Premier Mark McGowan left him high and dry. High and dry. The pair did not make one single public appearance together last week, not even the cutting of a token ribbon to open a fate. There was Albo, like a kid on his first trip to the West, touching down in Perth on the very first flight allowed in after the hard border reopened. He told reporters he was about to catch up with Mark McGowan later that day. But his great wish, a grand photo opportunity with McGowan, never eventuated. All Albo got was this, a single snap from a private meeting which he ended up posting himself to Facebook and Twitter. It had to be a deliberate ploy by McGowan, surely, who we know is majorly risk-averse and doesn't, you know, possibly doesn't want a stuttering state popularity poll to plummet anymore because, you know, you could be further damaged by federal labour. At one stage late last week, the pair had separate press conferences on either side of the city, very same time. Uh, both camps claimed it was pure coincidence. Rubbish. You just have to go back to last year's WA election and when Albo turned up then, McGowan was too busy to appear with him as well. Now, there's such a chasm between federal and state politics in WA and the coalition has always fared well federally. McGowan has just applied his trusty old COVID lockout theory to his old mate from Marrickville and will probably do so for the entire campaign. However, it'll be Scott Morrison's turn next to head west, very soon, in fact. He won't be getting a public appearance with the Premier either. You can count on that. And you won't hear the PM say what he said about West Australians during the border closure days of COVID either. OK. You now, it's like that movie in The Croods. People wanted to stay in the cave. Some wanted to stay in the cave. And that young girl, she wanted to go out and, and live again and deal with the challenges of living in a different world. Well, COVID is a new, different world. And we need to get out there and live in it. We can't stay in the cave and we can get out of it safely. That's what the plan does. You won't hear anything like that. Sand Gropers didn't take too kindly to that cave-like description. It'll be a contrite Prime Minister when he arrives in Perth. All praise and congratulations, even for the Hermit Premier.